hi everyone welcome back to the laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the http request so we will see that how we can get the all request from the http and what is the http request so these are some points that we are going to cover in this video so first of all we will just discuss the theoretical part of the http request then how we can get the http request and then there is some very important method they will help you a lot when you develop uh, some application with the laravel so like the path url method name and query and all how we can get that all right so now let's start with the what is the http request so as you know the http request mean the hypertext transfer protocols when a client request for some data or a client just want to submit some form that means this data is coming from the http request and this request can be put uh, post get so these are some a uh, very important type of the request like the get post patch delete copy head and all this kind of request there's a lots of uh, and it's a very big list so we will discuss about that so we are not going to cover all these things but uh, we will do all the things with the get request uh, in the next video we will learn that how we can submit a form in this video we will learn the post and put methods also all right so now let's start with the get request and all so before going to start i'm just going to tell you about i have already made a file uh, which is the controller file the youtube.php i made it in the last video and if you are not familiar with the controller then you can watch our previous video link is given in the description box and the complete video or complete list of uh, laravel is also in the playlist or uh, in the description box so it's just coming from the uh, web.php here this is the routing for this all right so for open this request um just shoot you for open this i have to go on the youtube url so i'm just going to put here youtube url and you can see that create controller which is coming from here all right so i'm just going to play with all all right so i'm just going to first of all remove this because the have some specific meaning and i want to tell you about that so first of all i'm just going to remove it and when we are just going to play with the request or the http request this uh namespace will work and when you just creating a controller which i created in the last video it will automatically comes here this is the default code given by the command prompt when creating the controller all right so now let's see i want if i want to access some request so let's say whenever i'm just going to put a uh, search all right in the search let's say i just put the data that how can i get this request because here you can see that there is a blank request there's nothing all right but how can i get this so for the get this we have to use this request type all right this is the class which is used for getting access the request so i can just use the request all right and now for getting this i have to just simply use print r dollar request and input all right and now let's see what we got here now you can see that we got that inside the search query we got the data and let's say if i just put another query like keyword is uh peter then you can also get that and here we don't need to the codes so we can remove it and here you can see that we got the second thing also here all right so this is the way that how we can get the data and if you want to just use then you can use the and also all right so that you can get the two different array for that all right so this is the way that how we can get the access and there is a lots of new methods uh, and there's a lots of method that we can use for getting the request so let's start with the methods so sometime you want to get only a particular name like you don't want to get everything so you want to just get the search then just uh, put here search keyword then you will only get the search data this means the data if i just put here like uh, 
high laravel then you will get this all right so if you go got the second then you can simply put the keyword here and you will get the peter all right so that's nice so now i just want to get the path this request uh, coming from which path for that i can just uh, i'm just going to simply comment it and going to just write here dollar request so for a quick response i'm just going to use here dollar r all right so i'm just going to dollar r path all right you can use uh, any variable that you want uh, replace with a dollar r so let's check now you can see that the youtube is the url from where it get get it from so but uh, let's say you want to get the more url so how you can get the more url so if you want to get the url then just put the url and now you will see that this is the complete url but let's say you also want to get the complete url from here to here the old query string and all then you have to just put here full url all right and now let's see that you will got the complete url here okay that's nice so but you don't know what is the method name is here then how you can get the methods for get the method you can just have to use the method function and it's very simple that you will get the get request and if you want to just uh, doing some uh, conditional thing let's say if you want to get the data then you can print something else and if you want to push the request then you want to do something else and how you can uh, i mean that how you can do it uh, conditionally for that you can just use dollar r and just check is method all right and in is method you can pass here get right so after that just use here curly brackets and just check here so you can check if uh, this is a get method then you can just print here hi to get all right and else you can just simply put here this is not get all right so now let's try then you can see that uh, okay so just uh, comment it here then you will see that it's a high to get that means this is a get method but let's say uh, you want to print the opposite thing then how you can do that so I just want to you can just simply here opposite then you will see that this is not get or you can simply check here post alright high to the post and this is not post so here you can see that this is not post because because this, this is a get request so uh, let's say this is a query string and uh, in the post request you want to get this data also that how you can get because now this is the get request then you can easily get it but in the post request you cannot get the url query string that for that there is a simple method okay so i'm just going to remove this stuff and here you can just simply put here query all right request query and let's see okay okay so i have to just put the print r because this is the uh, array inside the array form so just type here simply this and here you can see that okay this is the query string all query strings are coming here so this is all about the uh, how you can get the method name and the URL and path from the HTTP request in the upcoming video This is going to be very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this video